Hey, what's up, my brothers and sisters? This is Denzel, your brother in Christ, coming to you from the Moon Studio. This video, we're going to be talking about a dream I had in 2020, where I believe the Lord appeared to me um, in a special way and uh, gave me a message, I believe, to share with men, men of God in the church. So what's up? If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video so it can get out more. But in this video, I just want to be very quick and talk about vision I had or a dream I had in 2020 where I believe the Lord appeared to me. I had this video on YouTube, but I had to take it down um, due to whatever reasons. But I'm re-uploading it in 2022 uh, to share with you what the Lord put on my heart. So in this dream, I'm in this laboratory, I guess you could say. And it's very um, diabolical. The intentions were to kill, to steal, to, um, it was almost like evil trying to kill people. And as I'm walking around, this guy appears to me as like this normal looking guy. And this normal looking guy, to me, it appeared to be the Lord. The reason why I knew it was the Lord was because there was this guy, he was following me around. And it's like, before the guy could even attack, the man that was with me, was protecting me from his attacks. It's like there was this moment where there was this object thrown and the, and the, the, the normal looking person told me to throw it back. And I threw it back and it just so happened to be an explosive. It blew up some of the building to, to get us away from the guy that was trying to kill me. And it was almost like the man I was following, he was like 50 million steps ahead of everything around him. Like he knew exactly what to do before anything would happen. And uh, as I'm following him, we start getting towards this elevator. Um, I believe the thing that was thrown at us was like this little smoke bomb thing, explosive, I don't know. But um, the Lord told me there was like this cautious liquid substance, I guess you could say it was in like this little box. The Lord told me, rub it on my body and rub it on my, uh, I think it was my face or something like that. And I was like, what about my feet and my legs? He was like, no, don't worry about that. So I rubbed it on me, we get in this elevator um, I believe we went up to the ninth floor. It was like that. I think it was the ninth floor. And as we were going up in the elevator, I began to get woozy. But then I realized like that blue substance, I believe, was protecting me from the poison or whatever it was in the atmosphere. So as we're elevating, we get up to this floor, we get into this bathroom area full of young men. And the Lord goes into because it's almost like this locker room feel type thing. The Lord goes into this room. He goes into the locker room and he goes into like this little stall area and he's smiling at me and I'm wondering like, what does he want me to do? Do you need me to do anything? And he's just smiling at me. And then after that, he comes out and he, he has this thing of blue soap and he squirts it on the ground and it's like a blue soap on the ground. He starts stepping on it, stepping on it, saying, screech, 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 screech. And he's like, why are you not feeding my sheep? Why are you not taking care of my sheep? Why are you not on someone's hit list? And in that moment of the dream, it was really intense. I mean, it was a lot of young men around. Everyone was sitting around in stalls, chilling. And he was just wondering, like, why are you not taking care of the sheep? This was in 2020. I've heard people say, I heard a friend of mine say that the stuff that was that was put on the ground, the blue substance is like the blueprint and the Lord stepping, get back to the blueprint. Why are you not on someone's hit list? Why are you not taking care of my sheep? Um, it Come to think about it, you know, in times past, when people had a plague or a disease in the in the older times, in the early church, their families would throw them out. Uh, the people would throw these unwanted children out, people that had disease, they would throw them out. Just like in the Old Testament, if someone had a disease, they were put out of the temple or out of the community. But it's like the church in those times would come and they would come and take care of those people that were sick. Um, it reminds me that the ministry of shepherding and taking care of God's people, being faithful to your call is 365 days a year. Um, many times, you know, the Bible says there's one thing, there's, there's a person called a good shepherd. And then there's another person called a hireling. A hireling is going to run away when, when the money's dried up. When they, don't have the mon when they don't have the money, they're going to run away. And if a wolf comes, the hireling's going to run away because he's in it for the money. But the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He never stops. He's always concerned about their, their well-being. And I wonder how many pastors or leaders or 
Christian leaders kind of took a step back in that season and thought that God's people were no longer in a necessity for leaders in the church. But I guess what I get from that is, you know, just from thinking about it all these these years, these last two years, we have to stick to Jesus. Stay close to Jesus. The Jesus of the Bible. The Jesus that we read about and pay attention to his walk. Pay attention to him in every circumstance. Pay attention to him when there was sick people. Pay attention when there was demon possessed. Pay attention when everyone doubted him. Like pay attention to him and do what he says do. Um, so y'all be blessed. I don't want to add on a takeaway from that. God bless y'all.